Hey guys, welcome back to Project Anonymous. Today, we're gonna make a custom stamp. So to start, we're gonna do some CAD modeling uh, to get the handle piece of the stamp done first, and then we'll move on to doing the CAD modeling of the actual stamp uh, piece itself. Uh, to do that CAD modeling, I'm using Fusion 360, um, which is one of, I'm sure, many CAD modeling software out there, but one that I'm uh, more used to. So we'll go ahead and start with that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with making a sketch. Select the plane we're gonna work on. And we're just gonna do a simple circle design. So I'll sketch out a circle real quick. Make the base about 38 millimeters at the bottom of the stamp. Go ahead and extrude that out. I'm just going for looks here. All right, we'll go ahead and sketch out the handle piece. I'll just do that right on top. And I'm sure there's a better way of doing this, but this is just the way I'm comfortable doing it. Do a new sketch on top of that surface. Your simple circle, about 15 should work. Go ahead and extrude that out for another 15 millimeters. 20, yeah, that looks better. I'll do another sketch on this to kind of widen out the handle so it fits in the hand a little bit better. I think about 25 should work good. I know it doesn't look like much now, but when we add the fillets, it'll be a nice, comfortable grip for your hand. Okay, find the last piece on top. and we'll screw that out again. Okay, now let's uh, add some fillets to it. Smooth it out. Start there. And You know, we're just going for a nice shape that uh, will feel comfortable in your hand. Kind of look old schooly. Oh, that looks pretty good right there. Nice. All right. All right. Now we'll get ready to print. So I'll hit make and save it. Step body. All right. All right. So now that we've finished 3D modeling our stamp body using Fusion 360, it still needs to be formatted to be able to be 3D printed um, or sliced as they call it. So we're gonna use a program called Ultimaker Cura to take our STL file that we just uh, completed out of Fusion and make it so that it turns into G code that the 3D printer can use to print. So let's go do that. And the reason I use millimeters while designing instead of inches it's because whenever I transfer over to Cura, it seems to scale down my model. Okay, so now I'm just making sure all my settings are right. Uh, temperature is pretty important. We're using PETG for the print of this part, so see me there, just checking the temperature. Don't need supports, but for build plate, because it's so tall, I'm gonna add a brim, pretty small brim. it. It's an hour and a half to print. Go ahead and take a look at it. All right, that's what I wanted. Okay, let's save it. I always save the type of material I'm printing in the title. Just in case I wanted to reprint it, I want to make sure I have the right material loaded. So now that we've sliced our stamp body, now we need to find a way to get it onto the printer. Now we could just put it on a memory card and then physically stick that memory card into our Ender 3, which is the printer we're using, or we can use what I prefer, which is uh, using Octoprint, which we can just drag and drop essentially onto the computer uh, because we have a Raspberry Pi connected 
to the printer itself. So we can do that. So I've opened up Octoprint in my computer and I'm going to go ahead and load up the file we just sliced. It's right there. And all I have to do is drag and drop it. And what it does is it saves it to the Raspberry Pi that's connected to the printer. See it's now saved right there. And then we're going to go ahead and connect the printer, which I didn't do before. And we're connected. And we just hit the print button and got an hour and a half. You can see our bed temperature is starting to raise, so everything's working. All right, so now that we have the stamp body printing, we're going to go ahead and start designing our stamp face, and we can 3D print it on a, a more flexible material that will absorb a stamp pad ink, and then we can go ahead and stamp with it much like a rubber stamp. So let's go ahead and start designing this in Fusion 360 and see what we come up with. All right, I'm going to go ahead and bring over the design, put it as a canvas in the background, Choose a plane, make it a little bit bigger. Calibrate it to make it 38 millimeters to match our handle. And just kind of put it sort of center. And when I do my circle, make that 38 millimeters, I can just line it up. And now it's just adding splines. Now we can go ahead and extrude it out. Two and a half millimeters here. Oh, looks like I put the stamp base on the wrong side. It's going to make a reverse image this way, so we'll go ahead and take that off. Go and go ahead and resketch it on the correct side. There we go. And that looks good. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and save it. Let's go ahead and remove the canvas, make sure it looks good. Yep, we're good. Save that. It's going to be Y stamp. Save. Okay, go back into our slicer. That old print. Go ahead and grab my stamp. There it is. We'll go ahead and put the face down. Okay. Now I move things off to the side of center because we have a have a big gash on my print surface right in the middle. So whenever I can, I move it off center a little bit. Slice that. Oh, and we gotta change some settings here because TPU is printed at 230. 65 instead of 85. Slow down the print speed. It's a little goopier, so I have to add a little bit more retraction as well. So it doesn't continuously ooze out even between sections. There, slice it. Preview up, oh, and this is why I always like to preview because we don't need a brim on this one because it's not as tall as the other piece. I'm going to go ahead and turn the brim off. 
open, re-slice. Cool. That's what I want. And that's why I always check the preview. to TPU, good, perfect. All right, so it finished printing. Yeah, so we're gonna peel it off. base of the stamp like I mean we're gonna put the actual design on top of it so the Y symbol on the bottom of it right bottom of the stamp right yeah is that how it is so this is gonna be the top and then we're gonna like put the um, other piece on this part then when we stamp we like that this is the holder but before we do that we have to change the filament out because mm -hmm. we used a hard filament called PETG, and I don't really know what it stands for, but it's probably down below right now, of what PETG is. So it's a hard material to be a structure for the stamp. And then we're gonna use... Should we put the exact same one we use in the description? I don't know. And then we're gonna use TPU, which is a more flexible filament. I'll show you here in a minute how much more flexible this TPU is, which will be kind of like the rubber part of the stamp. So. While this is still hot, let's go ahead and get this out of here. So I need you to move for a sec. I'll probably have to do this. You can see how much harder this is, right, than to this. Look at this. It's really flexible. Mm -hmm. So. A lot more goopy than PETG and it's it may turn into a blob at the end but we'll see so let's go start that print okay, so it, the actual stamp part just got finished printing so I'm gonna peel it off if I can I don't know if there's any special tooth for this probably there it is oh so you just Bend it, I guess. Yeah. And then we're just going to put this on it with some hot glue. Or glue. Hot glue? Or would that burn it? I don't know. Let's find it out. To the garage. Yeah. So we have our all-purpose something cement so all you're gonna do is get just a little bit of it just a little just rub it around that's enough it's a little bit of it because i'm pretty skeptical about using hot glue because it might burn it skeptical eh, it smells like nail polish remover Let's see if this thing works. Moment of truth. Yeah. All right. That looks cool. Definitely worked. So. Okay. Nice. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash that subscribe button if you enjoy our content. Please like this video if you like this video. And notifications? Notifications? Yeah. And stay crafty and be happy.